You're listening to the July 30th, 2023 reading of Blossom Goodchild's Channeling with the Federation of Light. Hello, my friends. Once again, another week has flown by. One thing I find really odd these days is time. I know there's no such thing where you reside. Yet here, for me and others, it seems, it's all gone a bit bonkers. For instance, I can run my choir on a Monday evening. My sister stays and we chat. I see her the next afternoon and there is no way to me that it was only the night before that we were chatting. It seems like a week ago. What's that all about? Welcome, Blossom, and each one that once again finds themselves drawn to these conversations. It is the energy vibration within the love in your hearts that attracts you here. And as each one allows the opening of their heart to that which we bring through, expansion in, of, many aspects takes place. This is wonderful for us to feel. Regarding the disappearance of time, or the speeding up of time, or time being warped in your awareness. This is due to the newer, higher energies that one is experiencing at this time. Indeed, it may appear to one that an incident took place a few weeks ago, when in fact it was yesterday. Because the vibration that one has aspired to is allowing time to not get in the way. For it is not to be so much of a thing anymore. Is it not, Blossom, that if one were to release time from the memory, there would be a greater flow within the natural balance of the self? Allowing happenings to take place in natural flow, rather than concise timing and the desire to control outcomes and deadlines. We understand that much of your planet's actions revolve around the clock, and there are certainly aspects that need to be conducted involving this sundial. Yet the increasingly higher light energies entering now are making much change in many aspects of your awareness. One of them being time warping. It is not something to be concerned about. It is a good thing. It is a recognition of keeping up with the times. There is so much about you, each one, that is rising to the occasion much that is very subtle and hardly noticeable, because it has integrated itself into your being in a gentle fashion and therefore caused no disturbance. Yet there are other changes, would we say, releases that can bring a full jolt to one's system and leave them quite out of sorts for a time. Once again, we ask you to look back at the old you, the one that was stubborn, the one that was unforgiving, the one that had no time for others and their positioning in this movie, this play, whichever word you feel to use. Well, I would call it my life, my world. I know it's my life in this play, this movie, yet nonetheless, although a game, as you also state, it is still very much my life that I am living. Yet is it not these days, Blossom, that you feel detached from all the goings-on and just flow downstream, accepting what is, and not allowing emotions to take you to unnecessary depths that the ego mind wants to sell to you? Correct, yes. And may I say, nicely put. So in those times, do you not feel, would you not consider yourself to be an actor playing out the role? I see what you're saying. And actually, choosing to be an actress in this lifetime, in this acting role, I can relate even more to the doing of, making it appear real. And yet, really, only just acting. Within that acting, where are your feelings? Oh, they're there, believe me. 
I don't feel I'm hiding them or ignoring them by being in this flow. Yet these days, there is more of an acceptance of what is. Where is there, Blossom? I can't really put them in a place within me. I'm unable to locate where they are now you've asked. I feel I should say my heart, yet that's also not quite right, is it? We are certainly headed in the right direction with this conversation. The more one is evolving, the more one is recognizing the knowing of the greater self. The more one becomes aware of the feelings of pure love and understanding of the all. Then, the more time one resides in these higher testimonials. There is no longer the need to delve into what one may have indulged in, in past situations, and wallowed in the why me, poor me syndrome. So many of you now have passed that post and are aware of the truth within. And within that truth, there is much letting go of the old indoctrinations and programs, which in turn lightens up, illuminates the newer version of you. Indeed. With respect for everyone's positioning on their journey, it is so much more obvious to those who have travelled far for a long, long time and worn out many pairs of moccasins The vast difference in souls who have so far not chosen for themselves to keep walking. Those that settle and remain in the norm and do as they're told, etc. Those that choose not to expand. In a way, as I say with respect to them, and I guess gratitude, it helps those who have to see how far they've actually come. And does it matter to you, Blossom? where those others are in terms of affecting you? Good question. On a personal level, I say each to their own, none of my business, send love in the knowing that they're on their own path. On a grand scale level of lifting the planet, some feel frustrated that others choose to remain as they are and not involve themselves in this exciting awakening. Some feel... Do you feel frustrated? Nope. It is what it is. They are who they are. Their choice. Some feel that those who have buried their heads in the sand are hindering the process of ascension. Are they? If you or anyone else feels the answer is yes, then they are. If you feel the answer is no, then they are not. You see... Blossom and all present, your life is your life. How you choose to live your life is your decision. How you choose to think about anything is your choice. This is your life in your world. You make your choices. You think how you choose to think. That is your privilege to do so. So in that sense, there's no right or wrong, and I do mean in that sense, as opposed to going down rabbit holes of right and wrongness. Correct. You were given a brain, given tools to think. What a gift. Yet most of all, you were given free will to choose how to use this gift. You are not robots. Yet... Blossom, knowing the power of love, knowing the power that is love, is the ultimate experience one can have. When one taps into this conclusion of pure love, when one opens the door to it and walks through, one easily recognizing what that love is, and that everything else is outside of that. Not within it. Let us say that love is the paddle and everything else is the ball. I knew you'd bring pickleball into it. (laughs) I'm addicted. We are aware of this blossom and are thrilled. The exercise is benefiting you greatly and therefore upping your game on all levels. I know. 
so. The paddle is the pure consciousness, and the ball is everything else. The paddle hits the ball, and the ball sets off on the trajectory of intent. And we either score the point or we don't. And it doesn't matter, for it is just a game. I guess the biggest quandary for most of us is... We know this. We get this. We're more than willing to open the door and walk through, yet we don't seem to be able to. What is it that stops us from getting to that place that we all want to be? Time. That's a joke, right? No. Yet we were hoping to amuse. As opposed to confuse? Blossom, in your world, in this moment... You are programmed and conditioned to time. Yet, as most people understand, it does not exist. For we know everything is happening at once, even though we may find that hard to comprehend. Precisely. It does not matter that you cannot comprehend it. For nothing matters. I am indeed amused, because I can feel that you're amused also, by popping in such depths of wisdom that you have spoken of in the past, such as nothing matters, and happily blowing our minds. Or stretching them into the knowing that you already know. You may think we are talking in riddles, Blossom, yet we are not. These are facts. If it was to be, at this time, that everyone was able to walk through the door, just like that, everything would change. The divine plan would change. Is it not changing all the time? Certainly not the outcome. Strategies, perhaps. I know there is so much, so much that we are unaware of regarding this plan. Yet truly, at the end of the day, that doesn't matter either. We know what we came to do, and many of us, so many of us, are doing the best we can to fulfill that joyful task. And for now, that is all we need to know, and just get on with it. We couldn't have put it better ourselves, Blossom. Thank you. In gratitude, in loving service, I am. Please may I ask you all to send prayers to my dear friend Susie Ward, who channels her son Matthew. She's experienced a heart attack, and your love and healing blessings will help her enormously. We love you, Susie. Get well soon. <laughs>